What is up guys? Yeah, not the worst here. I'm bringing you a little uh, discussion slash news video. We're going to be talking about the new marketplace. Um, and then after kind of covering, we're going to cover how it works, look at some of the prices and how it's affected the market if you haven't seen it already, and then uh, give some kind of things that I'm thinking may happen as it gets rolled out to other servers. Uh, so first, let's kind of cover how it works. We're using some info straight from the from the old Reddit, so credit to uh, Deity Maker for this screenshot um, that we're going to cover it with. How it basically works is it eliminates the need for an item to um, to be purchased from people directly. What I mean by that is when you're selling an item as a seller, you can sell it directly to the marketplace at whatever the current price is. So when you sell it, it has uh, different options for what the highest amount is. Let's say you're selling a plus six Urgons to the marketplace. This isn't for buying. We're not there yet. Uh, then you would sell it, get 260 mil minus the tax, et cetera, et cetera. So in this particular screenshot, they're, they're noting because obviously there haven't been any registered. So the standard prices on these are obviously skewed. It doesn't make any sense that a 14 is going to be high, uh, cheaper than a plus six, which it won't. It's just that plus six has been purchased far more than what has uh, been purchased for the 14. So the standard price increase hasn't increased until those start to get purchased. What I mean by that is let's take, for example, um, let's say uh, ancient relic scroll, uh, ancient relic shards, which will actually see the price influx on the but just for example, uh, normally they sell for around a million or so when there's events or things going on they are having people wanting more memory fragments like right now they shoot up to around 1.5 1.6 things like that uh, the marketplace will if it's let's say they continuously sell out it will drive that price up but it will have a price cap um, and for argument's sake let's say it's at the 2.25 that you see the scroll caps are so the price of what it regularly sells or its standard price won't go beyond what that price cap is you can however pre-order items up to a certain price cap as well um, it's not unlimited what the price cap number is. And so let's say, again, for argument's sake, they have a capped pre-order price of 3 mil. So you could be in line to pre-order for 3 million your Ancient Relic Shards. Uh, each, you want to pay 3 million for them. And each person that puts a pre-order in is then in line as long as they put it at that same amount. The pre-orders aren't just any price you want to put in. It does have a maximum amount to it. So if you have 10 people that all go put pre-orders in for Ancient Relic Shards at 3 million, uh, then it will go first come first serve from there. So whoever put the uh, pre-order in first is going to get theirs. Then the next guy get theirs. The next guy get theirs. Uh, as far as pre-orders, you apparently have unlimited numbers of pre-orders. Obviously, you have to have the money amount that to put in just like you do now for the pre-order. So you can put in as many pre-orders as you want. With the exception of pearl items, you're able to pearl. You're able to pre-order only one pearl at a, at a time. So you can put in for just one and that's it. Once you get it or you want to change it, you can change it, but you can only keep one. Whereas everything else is unlimited, provided that you have the funds to be able to pre-order whatever it is that you want. Um, once you've sold the item to it, uh, if it's not already pre-ordered from there, and uh, then it's going to go into purchase price from there. And the purchase price is going to be based on how many have sold. And again, slowly increase as the market sees what sells out faster or slower. That's what yields this kind of thing you've seen here, where the standard price is 260 mil because you've had a whole lot more plus six Oregon's sold than you have plus 14. Probably nobody really sells 14 or 15. Let's be real. You'd go to pry. Then, of course, you get a huge jump in pry because it's far more common to see these sold this does seem like it's going to kind of de-incentivize people to sell things initially uh, and over time it's going to increase and this kind of skews things so for instance if you have er an extra pair of ergons you're looking to sell or maybe you were had a backup pair that you were saving and you hit pen on them or something because you're some kind of god that can get pens on ergons um, then what's going to happen let's say your backup you actually obviously in this market if you were looking at this particular instance right here you're better off blowing it up back to pry and then selling it like it, to get more if the standard price on this is 250 obviously with the pre-order price uh it's not gonna give you an effect to how much they're paying for the pre-order it's how much the standard price is in the market at the time because again the sellers you're selling to the market and then the market sells to the buyers from there you're not selling it directly to the buyers through the marketplace like it was previously so that's essentially how it works you have caps on everything um, and the availability to get things there's no more bidding system whoever's got the highest pre-order price for it is going to get it if there's no pre-order price for it it's going to go in at the standard price and you just purchase it right off the bat from there so any hot items are obviously always going to be going to pre-order they're not going to just sit in here as you can see zero registered because ergons will absolutely never just sit on the marketplace common to or excuse me concurrent to how it does now uh, it doesn't just sit on the marketplace you have to bid on it the bidding's gone highest pre-order goes for it and if there's a tied pre-order whoever put theirs in first boom that's new marketplace in a nutshell so 
The next thing to look at here, and I've alluded to this when we were talking about Marketplace a little bit earlier in some of the videos this week, what kind of effect this has had since it's currently live on the Mena server. Is it Mena server or Mena server? But whatever, I'm, we're gonna say Mena for now. I'll probably change it in a minute when I say it again. So these are what's happened to the prices now. So currently an Ogring on NA server is 95 mil, and it's gonna go for that. I think you can list it as low as like 85 or something if you are not smart and don't want full price for it, but they go for 95 mil. What's happened now is the Ogre Rings are 155 mil. Why? Because that's the pre-order capped price on it, and it's increased to this, and you can only ever buy an Ogre Ring at 155 mil now, and you have to put your pre-order price in at 155 mil, that's the price that it's slowly climbed up, or excuse me, this is the, the regular standard price now that slowly climbed because of the pre-orders. I don't know what the pre-order cap on Ogering is. So your standard price, like when we look at these, Aragons Plus 6 is up to 260, so Ogering capped at 155 mil. That's the capped standard price that it can have on it, which means Ogerings were forever and always at that point be 155 mil, not 95 mil. You can see prior Ogerings about 100 mil more than what we used to normally. It's 285 currently on NA and it's 385 capped there. Um, and you can check out this list. I'll link to it in the description below so you can take a look through this uh, if you're interested in specific items. And from what this information given, all of these were capped. The only thing that wasn't capped was uh, Ancient Scrolls Pila Fey. He said it was at 4 million um, and he. He said he hoped it was the maximum price, but didn't think so, and then double checked and was already up another 50. So this one probably wasn't max. Uh, most of these others were. This one he put specifically max. Kafirs are up to 1.8. Memory Fragments, 2.25. Vel's Heart, 2.5 billion. Tier 9 mats, 1.5. Um, Tet Boss Weapons, 1.75 to 2.5, depending on Kuda Maneuver. Tet Boss Armors, 2.2 billion. And these are just the standard prices. This isn't taking into account what you need to pre-order for it. Uh, so yeah take that how you will take that how you want it that's the price is there um and that's pretty much it it's great for sellers it's not it's not necessarily super great for buyers things now cost more so a couple things to keep in mind how is this going to impact the game currently one we don't know when this is going to go on na or eu but i would assume pretty pretty soon considering it is live on the meta server right now so i can't see them pushing it off too much further unless they're just trying to fine tune it on the Meta server before putting it to even Korea doesn't have this implemented yet. So if they haven't brought it to those servers, it's possible they're kind of fine tuning it on an actual live server that they're not as concerned with upsetting the player base as they would be on NAE or Korea. Uh, larger markets that's a possibility other things you're seeing and you've probably noticed this in game ancient scrolls have stayed completely sold out this entire week um once actually once this came out on reddit a couple of days ago the ancient scrolls started selling out entirely uh, mostly because people are doubling down on this fact that they're just going to skyrocket so you can either buy them and sell them for profit or if you need them you just buy them and hang on to them now while you can still get them for 2.25 on a bid system uh, because they're not going to be that cheap ever again once this does get implemented same with memory fragments uh, and you saw the prices get dragged on that even ancient relic shards even though that's not listed here those climbed up in price all the way to like 1.6 they were st sitting 1.6 for the last day or so and then i think today i saw them come back down to 1.5 but they're still selling and i expect as people log on tonight uh, and play more it'll probably climb back up to 1.6 and could even push a little higher forbidden books are staying completely sold out also those are at 1.7 million and again this all is tying in because of the speculation of when this marketplace is implemented the system also on top of that things to think about and i mentioned this in my gear progression video if you're trying to do uh, accessory enhancements the time is now uh, to go ahead and do that why because just like the example if i was saying if you want to if you've been trying to get a tri ogre and you're going to enhance it yourself picking up a pry ogre is now 100 mil more picking up uh just a base ogring itself 60 mil more than what you were paying previously so definitely 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 uh jump on getting your accessories in now start sniping them fine accessory box 2 is coming out uh with rewards tonight so if you're catching this video on saturday anyways uh so you can get that and maybe try and snipe what you need whatever pieces that you're working on accessories highly recommend doing that before not that you're not going to be able to do it afterwards it's just going to cost you a whole lot more to get these um and even then like uh tri -Ogre bid right now is like what 2.3 bill i think something like that and the base price is going to go to 4.7 billion of course these are still going to pre-order this is a close to what they pre-order for now i think they're like 5.5 or 5.7 or so on na maybe a little bit different on eu so yeah that's what we're kind of looking at with uh, market changes and how it's going to play into um into the market prices of things something else to mention too uh that was i've heard from a lot of life skillers granted i'm not one of them so i can't directly comment on it is it's going to hurt a lot of materials 
uh, that lifescalers typically can't get a hold of, things that sell out often and they can pre-order for large amounts of money. You really can't do that anymore because there's going to be a pre-order cap and all the other lifescalers are going to be purchasing for that pre-order cap. So you'll kind of just have a line set up for, you know, whatever the items are. Keep in mind, I don't lifescale, but, you know, if you need a specific type of uh, meat or fur or something like that and you always have had to pre-order in the past and whoever has a pre-order, you just put another pre-order a little bit higher than what the last one was, et cetera, et cetera. You can't do that now. So if you have a cap of whatever your resource you need is and the cap on it is, you know, 500,000, everybody's got to just put their pre-order at 500,000 in a first come first serve basis. So unless they decide to change something before it does launch, I think that's going to be pretty problematic for life skillers in general. But again, we'll see if this does get implemented the same way, if they decide to fine tune it, uh, or if they've got something else that's going to work for uh, items like that. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy this. Uh, I want to hear from you guys what you think is going to happen with the marketplace changes, uh, ways that they can make it better or life skilling how what's what's the work around what's going to be the new way to get your life skilling done and still make some money that's going to make sense what are the items that you're going to be missing out on um, drop it in the comments below um, so we can have a little discussion going what do you guys think also if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when we put a new video up i try to do them as often as possible five ish plus times a week sometimes more and if you want to catch live streams make sure you check out the link in the description below We've got the uh, twitch link there for when we do live streams on the weekends um discord twitter all that good stuff anyhow everybody thank you for watching and i will see you next time Baby.